Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're gonna to be doing your weekly prediction. So please choose your cards now. We have group number one, we have group number two, and group number three. And I'm also gonna be putting some crystal cards on the decks now. So these are the crystals, please choose your group and, and let's get started. Please also feel free to pause the video. And also if you need more time, then yes, please pause the video and all time stamps will be down below in the description box and also in the comment section down below. So let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what you guys have for this week. So we have the gorgeous, I think this is Amatrine. Yes, Amatrine. So this is all about the balance. This is all about coming into balance with who you are. And Amatrine is really beautiful. I mean, this is Amethyst and Citrine. So it's a really beautiful crystal to help you with your emotions. It's really good for um, connecting to your spirituality, connecting to who you are in general and just really focusing on all those different aspects of layers of like the spiritual realm and also the physical realm and it was also really good for motivation and things as well. So I do see this week you're going to be connecting to your spirituality. I feel like it's going to be quite a peaceful week as well. Next card we have out is safe and surrounded by love. Beautiful, I love this. Keep your heart open and know you are being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. That is beautiful. Next card out we have is the crocodile. We then have the fox and we also have Virgo. So you guys are gonna be feeling a little bit sensitive this week, a little bit like physically sensitive, possibly very, very psychic as well. Very, very psychic this week. And you guys are, really learning to understand what it is that you need out of life and not comparing your your journey to others and knowing that your journey is very sacred so the crocodile here is kind of an animal that kind of watches and waits for its prey to kind of like prey on you know its prey so i feel like for you guys it's you're kind of waiting for something to come around and we're going to get a little obviously a little bit more detail with this with the tarot but i feel like with the fox as well it's kind of like you're trying you're being very very strate strategic and statistical about something you're being very strategic about kind of where your journey is and, and what you want to do about it and I feel like as well with the Virgo card it's very much to do with kind of coming into a very earthy energy so you're most likely going to get um, possibly some financial abundance this week and also you're going to be really looking after your health this week your body your spirituality really taking care of your needs so let's have a look at the fox in a little bit more detail and we're going to see here what it represents. So here it's representing as earth. We have earth and we also have fire. So two very interesting energies being connected together. So the fox here represents smart, strong, smart, strong partner or mate, wise teacher. So for you guys, you could actually be manifesting a partnership because we do have love um, with this card here. But we also have this one that represents partnerships and kind of coming into that duality. So I feel like you're possibly going to be connecting to somebody who is, oh, it might be somebody who's watching and waiting for you as well. There, there could be a water sign connected with an air sign or an air sign connected with a water sign. But also it could be fire as well because I always see the fox as a fire sign because you it could be either of these energies. Like you could be watching and waiting for your person to come in or you're waiting or, or somebody's watching and waiting behind the scenes and you don't really know who this person is yet. So I feel like that's a really, really beautiful energy. And the Virgo here is showing me that you guys are, as I say, feeling very, very sensitive. And it is Virgo, it is, is it Virgo season? Is it Virgo season? Not anymore. Wait, what season are we in? What's the date today? Virgo season. Wait, hang on, I'm confused. Okay, Virgo. And we are in Virgo season as well. So I do feel like for you, it's really connecting with yourself and reconnecting really with that energy and connecting with the Virgo energy. And 
Also, it's showing me that you guys are possibly having a birthday as well if you are a Virgo, so it might be your birthday this week. Okay, oops, let's see what else we have. Okay, so we have Aries, we have the Sun, and we also have the 12th house. So you guys are feeling a little bit impatient with your journey. You're kind of feeling like, I'm not sure where I'm going. And you're kind of wondering if things are gonna change. And you're kind of curious as to how things are gonna shift. And I think it's very much to do with the self. I think you're really, I'm hearing abandoning an old part of yourself, but I feel that the abandonment is a good thing. It's kind of like completely releasing that into the world and just letting yourself be free of that. And also, um, kind of having the Mars energy of Aries because Mars is all about that strong energy. So I feel like for you guys, you're really connecting to your body. You're needing to get grounded this week. And I also see that there's going to be a lot of love around you. I feel like you're going to manifest somebody who really finds you attractive and, and, and a romantic partner. It could also be friends as well. You could be attracting a new friendship. Um, but also I feel like you're going to feel very supported this week by people and by financially as well. More likely spiritually though, spiritually and emotionally, okay? Right, so let's have a look at your tarot. Did I take a photo? I don't think I did, did I? I don't know. I don't know, that's going to really bother me. We have a look in a minute. Okay, so we have the King of Cups. Beautiful. We have the Ten of Cups. The Ace of Wands. Yeah, that's what I'm saying about that fiery energy, that very um, Mars energy that's coming in. So Mars and Virgo can be a, quite a sensitive pairing because Mar Mars kind of, like the Mars energy is like, it says it says it out how it is, you know, very determined, very masculine, whereas the Virgos can be quite sensitive and almost quite feminine. So I feel like for you, there's definitely a shift of your emotions and you'll learn to love yourself more, you'll learn to give yourself more love. And we have two of the very strong uh, cards in this deck. We have the artist and we also have the well. So you are really coming into your, your own energy. You're coming into a really strong energy of understanding who you are, what your needs are, and what makes you feel really comfortable in this life. And also, there could be a creative endeavor that you start this week. Virgos are very internal as well, so you're probably processing a lot of your emotions. So I feel like for you guys, you're gonna get some sort of offer coming in from a, from a water sign for some of you. You could be connecting to um, another water sign where you are feeling much more abundant. and. This is romance. So I feel like some of you guys, you could be connecting to a romantic partner. I feel like this is somebody who really, really wants your attention. It could be, um, you could also be rekindling a relationship with possibly a family member and feeling really comfortable with that, with that member and just kind of feeling like you're rekindling that connection. And the Ace of Wands is showing me you guys are gonna find your passion through artistry. You're gonna find your passion through travel and imagination as well. And you're going to really explore what your potential is. And also you're going to take that leap of faith for some of you guys that have really want to take a leap of faith towards something. And also if you want to start a new project or you might be releasing a project this week, it's going to end up really, really well. And the King of Cups is showing me that he is very, very determined and he also wants to get your attention. So you're most likely going to find somebody in love who wants your attention this week. I really feel that. So... Yeah, I feel like you'll also need to incense yourself and really save yourself. So just be aware of that, guys, okay? So that is your reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to pull you one more card because I feel drawn to that. So we're going to pull you another crystal card. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so we have past life patterns and we have citrine. Yeah, so you guys are learning to just release anything that no longer serves you around ancestral patterns, any kind of past life issues. And we have citrine, which was connected to the ametrine, which is beautiful. So you guys are going to get a lot of abundance. You're going to manifest a lot of money, I feel, this week. And you're going to be really determined to get a lot of things done, especially in your work and creatively and things like that, okay? And then underneath the deck, we have zincite, which is to do with the physical body. And I did mention about you guys working on your physical body this week and really taking care of the things that you need and what your body's really craving and what you really need to do to nurture yourself okay so i feel like the element of love is really really prominent this week and just being really caring towards yourself 
So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like a private reading, all my information's down below. Thank you so much for being here. And also I have my crystal shop down below. So if you'd like any of these crystals into a crystal piece of jewellery, then please let me know. All my information is down below and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading and let's see what's going to happen for you this week. So the first card out we have is Larimar. Beautiful. So it says, when you feel like all of the world's problems are suddenly just your problem. When anger stands between you and the formation of articulate sentences. Remember, chill is a choice. Ride the call and breathe with Larimar. I love that. Oops. I love that. That's so great. I love that. Okay, so next card out we have. Life is better together. That is so cute. Oh, I love that. Seek assistance from your community. Connect with family, friends or others who will support you. It can be as simple as making a phone call. Next one out is the snake. And we also have, ooh, waxing crescent. So let's see what the waxing crescent represents. So waxing crescent represents setting intentions and planting a seed for what you want to accomplish during the cycle. So for you guys, I feel like you're in the incubation period. I feel like you guys are still kind of working on what it is you need to work on emotionally, I feel. And I think with the snake as well here, I don't know why I moved these along. <laughs> Why did I move those along? I have no idea. Okay. So <clears throat> I feel like for you guys, it's becoming grounded. I feel like you guys are kind of feeling a little bit ungrounded, a little bit uncomfortable and feeling like you can't really um, connect to your body. So I feel like getting, <clears throat> getting out, getting some nature will really help you. And also um, number four is all about grounding. So becoming grounded with yourself. And the number four also represents stability. It represents the home. So I feel like you guys are really going to be connecting to your home this week and it could be that you'll change up your environment, you could be getting some new furniture, you could be changing up the walls, painting the walls, you know, um, you could be getting a new bed, you know, getting new getting, getting new furniture I feel. I feel like for you guys I'm picking up on a hairdresser, so you guys might be hairdressers um, but also you guys might just be changing up your hair as well um, and kind of getting a new style possibly, possibly could be even just cutting or dyeing your hair, something as simple as that can make you feel really, really good. So I'm gonna have a look into the snake and we're gonna see what he represents in the book. So it says, guardian of awakened magic and creative potential. So it says about that when in balance, prosperous, creative and charismatic, when out of balance starts and stops many things, to bring into balance Kundalini yoga and meditation. So the best thing for you guys to do is to talk to people about your ideas. I think that will really help you to channel any creative ideas that come to you. Also that I feel you guys are very, very creative. So I think you're going to end up with like ending a project, possibly starting a new project. Um, but also I see for you guys that you're going to be changing up your environment. So this is going to change up your creativity as well. You might need to change something around to become more creative. You might get some more plants in your house and that may, might make you feel a bit more creative. You might get some crystals or something like that just to change up the, the energy so it can feel a little bit more expansive. And this, the snake energy is also making me feel like you guys are, are protecting yourself. So I feel like what's going to be really good for you, if you are feeling like you're in a bit of a hermit mode, I think what will be really good for you is to just create stuff and just constantly create stuff to release all these emotions. Because I feel like that's what's going to really serve you and really make you feel, going to make you really feel good and make you feel really comfortable and happy. And also I feel like it's just going to make you feel you can, you can really kind of get in this energy and not be dissatisfied I feel like you're going to get more satisfied and I feel like you guys are preparing for your intentions to be manifested I just feel like it's time for you to to be around more people because I think sometimes we can isolate ourselves without even really realizing but also I know obviously with what's going on around the world it can be quite hard to get together with people and things so just be aware that you might just need to connect with somebody who really understands you and if there isn't anyone around you there's going to be somebody out on social media or I feel like if you put the intention out there that you want to manifest possibly a new friendship or something, then I feel like that's going to be really good for you. And also the fact that we have this waxing crescent and it's saying about, you know, setting intention and things. I feel like what you're doing is you're possibly feeling like, oh, I'm setting the intentions, but they're not really happening yet. And I think it's just the universe is kind of saying to entertain yourself while these things are manifesting behind the scenes because some things take longer than normal, okay? 
So let's get you some astro dice. All right, so we have Venus, we have the fifth house, and we also have Capricorn. So you're gonna to start to love your job more. You're possibly gonna be changing your job this week or going for a job interview. The fifth house is all about dating. It's all about happiness and romance and childlike energy and self-expression. So creativity is gonna be really, really good for you this week. And Capricorn is showing me here that the energy around work is gonna be really sustaining. And the more creative you are in your work, the better you can actually have more productivity and also manage to do projects that you really, really enjoy. The Venus energy is also showing that you guys are going to come into love. You are balancing your love life and you may also be going on a date this week because fifth house is all about dating. So I feel like you could be going on a date this week with somebody. Um, you could be meeting somebody or you could meet somebody at work that you want to go on a date with and, and that kind of happens. I feel like for some of you guys that you're really worried about the way you look. And I feel like in work especially, some of you guys are really, something about your face, you're bothered about what you look like with your face, and I don't know why. And I know we're having to wear masks and things. I am seeing you guys putting on a mask, but it feels more to do with around your mouth. Maybe you're getting like dentist treatment or something this week, but it feels like you'll probably know what it is by the time you watch this video, that the prediction will be like, oh, okay, that, yeah, that makes sense. Like I've got a dentist appointment or something like that, or I'm getting my lips done or something like that, or I'm getting like new makeup and things like that. It feels like something around your mouth you're a bit insecure about. It could be like you're getting wisdom teeth out. It feels like something to do with your mouth and your jaw, but it could also be just speaking your truth. And Lara Mars also do speaking your truth. So you're learning to just kind of speak out and how you really feel with your friends and people you really, really trust, okay? So that is really great. I love that. So let's see what else we have with the tarot. Okay, let's get some tarot here. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. So yeah, you guys are really gonna get balanced with your home and your and your money. I feel like you're gonna to start to change things up within your home. I think you're gonna to start to feel more balanced with money. And I feel like some of you guys, you could be moving in with somebody as well, uh, most likely a partner. But I feel like for some of you guys, you are, I'm hearing finally getting a message from somebody that you've been waiting for. For some of you guys who aren't, who are already in a relationship or you are, Kind of wanting somebody but you haven't got anyone around you i do see there's going to be a massive shift in your love life this week i don't feel like it's going to be like oh you're going to be in a relationship but you most likely could meet somebody this week that really sparks your attention and, and really makes you feel really good and really really happy and it's kind of like all the all the in manifesting and intentions that you've been doing it's all leading up to this this point in time where things are going to start shifting for you and it could be really uncomfortable at first because it could be something that you think oh i don't know if i can if i can be with this person and possibly commitment issues start to, to come up but you guys i see are actually going to progress really nicely in this relationship just some of you guys might be a little bit shocked just because possibly you've been single for quite a long time and things like that um, but with the lovers here, it's also showing me that you guys are going to manifest love, you're going to manifest balance and you're going to manifest a really beautiful connection and you're going to feel really, really comfortable with your energy and you want to feel like you can actually attract something that just really is on your wavelength and you're going to start to be around people who who really, really suit you. And the Ace of Swords is, is talking about communication. So I do feel like communication is gonna come in. And you may also have the courage to like talk to your boss about a raise or something and start to feel much more comfortable with your journey. Um, but I do see that there is lovers here. So I feel like you are gonna manifest a nice connection that really, really suits you. And it is really, honestly, it's gonna sweep you off your feet, I feel, especially with that tower energy. It really is gonna completely sweep you off your feet and you're gonna feel like, wow, this is really changing my life. And the justice is saying that you're on the right track. You're definitely on the right track and things are shifting towards you, okay? The lovers I'm feeling is you're finally becoming balanced within yourself. You're understanding, okay, what's my love language? What makes me feel safe? What, what do I need to do to feel comfortable with another person? And I think as well is because you're starting to be more balanced, you are attracting a really beautiful relationship and um, for those of you who are already in relationships, I see you guys maybe moving in, possibly getting a dog. I feel like some of you guys, I'm hearing specifically, you're saving money on food. 
So it possibly could just be a random message saying that you're going to save money on food this week. Um, or you could get like abundance coming in around that. I feel like also some of you guys, you could be planning a marriage. You could be planning a wedding. Uh, one of you guys could be getting engaged. And I say one of you because it's like the other partner is like planning the engagement you know so that's what I'm picking up on as well I feel like somebody's planning an engagement somebody's planning a surprise and I feel like for some of you guys if you have a birthday this week I see that it's going to be a really good birthday it's going to be surrounded by love and abundance and things like that so let's get you a crystal card and let's see what crystal wants to come out as well for this week Is this bloodstone or is this obsidian? Yeah, obsidian. So we have obsidian here, protection root chakra. So if there's anybody around you who disapproves of something or really doesn't like what you have to say, just really remember to protect your energy and know that that's only their opinion and that's not what's important. What's important is what you're doing and if it makes you happy. And as long as you're not hurting anybody, there's obviously nothing that's going to go wrong. And we have hematite here, mental strength. So this is really good because I feel like you guys are possibly overthinking and I can't speak. Hematite is going to be really good, especially those of you who are overthinking about love. I feel like you guys are thinking, oh, I'm never going to get a relationship or I'm never going to sort this situation out, possibly going to end up single. And just remember, guys, you are extremely important, okay? And never put your never put your needs onto somebody else, okay? But always try to work on yourself and do the best that you can in that situation. And... I really feel like you're going to start to get a lot of balance. We do have justice here as well, which is showing me that there's a lot of newness coming in, okay? And I do feel like getting grounded will be really good for you. So get out in nature, drink some water, be around water, that sort of thing. I'm also picking up some of you guys might be connecting to a Pisces this week. Some of you guys, I'm, I'm seeing like the country or like the country of, I mean, I don't know. I was hearing a location. I'm hearing like Alabama. Alaska, like it begins with an A, Australia, um, I'm hearing Aul Auckland, so just like, take this as it resonates guys, I'm getting lots of different messages, so I hope that resonates with you guys, and if it does, please let me know down below, I love reading your comments, and if you would like to get a private reading, all my information is down below, and if you'd like any crystal recommendations, or crystal recommendation readings um, to do with jewellery, then all that information is down below. Thank you so much for being here and I will speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. So for you guys, you chose Rose Quartz. So Rose Quartz is obviously about love, unconditional love, and also just about acknowledging your heart center and what you need out of love. And also for me, I've been wearing Rose Quartz quite a lot recently and I have literally all these Rose Quartz tumble stones like right next to me. So I feel like you guys are really gonna connect to Rose Quartz this week. And it's all about opening your heart chakra and that safe space. It's really good for Cancerians, especially on water signs, because it's, it's a really good, like, safe energy. If you're feeling really uncomfortable with your emotions, if you're feeling angry, if you're feeling scared, if you're feeling vulnerable, this is going to be a really good crystal for you because it's just going to really help you to open up your heart chakra. And I also have this crystal available on my Attracting Love Crystal Kit on my website. If you want to check that out, that's all, all information is down below, okay? So next card out we have. Adrift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. That's so cute. So that's just chilling, just like really being present in the moment and really acknowledging what it is that you need to do. And I feel like it's not being a scatterbrain, I'm hearing, and not having your brain feeling scattered and kind of, I'm hearing scattered and splattered and my guides like to rhyme sometimes. So, um, your your energy is really connecting to yeah just, I'm getting all these messages I'm getting like all these people around you and you're kind of having to just be that one person who just smooth these sails and if people come at you with kind of conflict or conflicting messages or anger just really try and just drift past it as well guys um and also I I think in with my intuition where I get kind of messages that rhyme, I think it's because I think in metaphors. So you guys might be being quite metaphorical this, this week. You might be kind of feeling like you want to do some poetry, you want to possibly do some writing. Um, maybe just want to have like a creative session with somebody. Um, it can also co um, connect to um, sensual energy as well as sexual kind of energy that you might be connecting to this week in different ways. I mean, the cobra I always see is kind of like a sexual energy. It's fire, so that's really great. I love that. And the gazelle. So, wow, lots of fire. You guys could be a fire sign who's chosen this group. Let's see what else we have. We have mercury. 
we have Venus. Oh, I like that combination. And we have the last quarter. So let's have a look and see what the last quarter represents. So the last quarter represents releasing and letting go. Let go of the habits and negative patterns that hold you back. Forgive yourself and cleanse. So you might be needing to have a little conversation with somebody to kind of release some negative tension. There might be some sexual kind of conversations going on this week with somebody you're interested in. Sorry if, guys if I just uh, move the camera. I feel like there's just a really strong connection around love and what you expect out of love. I do feel that there's a love message coming in that's very, very fiery. You might think it's actually to do with um, sexual energy first, but actually when you get to know this person, you know that they're, they are wanting more than just that. They are wanting more than just the physical. And this Mercury and Venus, I feel like this is a couple here. So you guys might have a very strong Venus and they might have a very strong Mercury. So it might be like Gemini Mercury and then like Libra Venus or something like that. Um, but I feel like you guys are really just kind of drifting through this energy and learning to not take life so seriously, which a lot of us can do, especially because we're human beings and we're on this planet and it can be really, really tough sometimes. So I feel like you guys have really learned to connect to your emotions this week and just really acknowledge what's going on and give yourself permission to feel. I feel that's a really big statement. <laughs> give yourself permission to feel. And also turtles I feel like are very relaxed animals turtles are one of my favorite animals I absolutely love them they are so peaceful and I feel like this is just learning to getting you guys to just stop and listen to to your emotions and stop and listen to what it is that you are feeling and anything that you're struggling with just know that it will pass and you are connecting to a really intense part of you I feel like this week it could be you're releasing a lot of that vulnerability that you possibly felt when you were a child where you didn't have any safety or you didn't feel safe. You're releasing a lot of that, so don't be hard on yourself, okay? And the cobra, I feel like when they get scared, they attack, you know, they hiss or, you know, they bite or they wrap their prey around. So for you guys, there might be somebody around you who's a little bit of a snake, um, somebody who is really affecting your energy and somebody who kind of wants to sabotage your energy. But just be aware that, and not just be aware and not get involved with them because people want the attention. People who are who are hurt, they hurt people. Hurt people, hurt people. So that's what I'm feeling. And with the gazelle, I feel like you're getting a lot of ideas around something. I don't know what this is, but there's something around ideas. Mercury is all about ideas. It's all about the mind. It's about communication. It's the third house. So it's very much about social activity and the mind. So you guys are possibly thinking about love a lot this week and or possibly thinking about what you do love and you might be really um, indulging in something that you really love and purchasing something that you've wanted to buy for a long time and possibly have never done it or you've never kind of felt drawn to do it until now. And I feel like you could be buying some like cute things and things that people might think aren't practical or useful, but you, you really like them and you really enjoy them. So you, you're going to get them. That's what I feel. You guys might be buying new shoes as well. Okay, so we have the fifth house. We also have Scorpio and we also have Saturn. So the fifth house is all about romance. It's about play. It's about love, self-expression, childlike energy. And the fifth house is also about dating. So you could be dating a Scorpio. You could have some very, there is some very sexual energy going on because we have the snakes here with Mercury as well. So there's some kind of underlying sensual energy that's kind of going on. It doesn't mean that there's going to be that happening. I mean, obviously, if that if that's something you want, then I can see that. But it feels more like to do with getting to know what you like in, in that kind of realm. And when you do feel vulnerable, what is your reaction? You know, learning to kind of control and accept who you are. And when you don't feel safe, really recognise when you don't feel safe and what to do about that when you do um, and how to make yourself feel safe. So with this Saturn, I feel like you are going to going, you're going through a really big stage within your dating life. So for those of you who are single, especially this is for you, <clears throat> I feel like you're going through a really big stage of clearing out old people who no longer served you and people who really messed you around, they're no longer there anymore. And I feel like for those of you who have people who have messed you around, you are really learned to speak your truth with those people. And if they're still around you, I think you're going to realise that maybe they're not the best people for you. And you're going to start to manifest people who really are on your wavelength. And for those of you who have been in relationships where it's mainly been more physical and not so much mental and you want a love relationship, but a lot of your relationship you've attracted have been very sexual and physical based, I feel like you're going to start to manifest somebody who really, really finds your brain in your 
your knowledge very attractive and for those of you who are already in a relationship I see that there possibly could be like a job situation that stresses you out and you're just going to just flow with it and know that everything's going to be okay and and really safety is a really big thing for this group I feel like safety is coming up a lot so I think safety is just going to be something that you guys are really going to work towards and and feeling safe within yourself is so 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 important and it really helps others to feel safe too and it all starts with you as well it all starts with who you are and also speaking your truth this week and really speaking about what makes you what make, what you're passionate about speaking about your, what you're passionate about so you guys could be doing a job where you talk a lot or you could be doing like a hobby where you're really talking about your hobby and what you love or you're just having a conversation this week where you get to talk about something that you really really love okay so let's get some tarot for this week and let's see what's going on for group number three. Let's give this a good old shuffle. Sorry if the camera shakes a little bit while I do this. Okay, let's do a couple more. I really like this card. I'm gonna keep power out and then I'm gonna do one more shuffle. Okie dokie. Really like her as well. Okie dokie. So we have the Knight of Wands. We have, ooh, reverse, no, upright, okay. They, I heard the message, you thought that was in the reverse, but it's upright. So you guys might, okay, you guys are definitely gonna get a love connection this week. You guys are gonna have a really unexpected connection. It doesn't have to be love, it can be like a friendship. Or it could be like somebody you really enjoy working with in work or a colleague or just having a really good connection this week. And it doesn't actually have to be somebody you know. It could be something just really, really, really unexpected and somebody you never thought you would meet. I feel like it could be a fire sign or a water sign especially. I am picking up on Gemini as well and Taurus. Yeah, we had the page of cups. Wow, you guys are going to feel so emotionally fulfilled this week. You're going to feel like pretty much on top of the world and things are going to start to manifest much quicker for you guys you're going to start to feel like you can really manifest what it is you want to manifest and you're going to start to feel like you can really attract things that are really in your energy and the chariot is also showing me that this is emotional stability as well this is emotional connection so this is like emotional abundance and quickening around the emotions so I feel like there's definitely a shift in your energy around just the speed of things. I feel like if you've been wanting to manifest a partnership or you've been wanting to manifest a, a job that really suits you, I think you're really going to be manifesting that and really seeing that start to come to fruition. And it might not actually be that week that it happens. It might be in the next couple of weeks after, but you're going to start to see abundance coming in. You're going to start to see abundance coming in for you guys and you're going to start to feel like things are coming in sorry if you heard that that was my alarm um <laughs> i forgot that i said that so you could be yeah i feel like you guys are really going to get a message this week that's going to really kind of boost your energy and also you're just going to have much more faith in the universe this week and you're going to feel much more connected to the universe and the empress i feel like is showing me that you guys are just going to feel much more happier and able to really express yourself and the empress is really about somebody who male or female i feel like it's just somebody who is really in their energy and they know who they are they know their worth and they've got really strong boundaries so there's going to be somebody coming in who i feel like is going to be possibly just really offering you something and you may think oh this person is not very good they just want a kind of like a physical connection but actually they do want something that is more um, strongly connected to you on every level and it's just recognizing that and I feel like you could manifest this person through career as well I'm um, sorry if you had a weird noise that was just me moving on my chair um, and the page of cups here is also showing me that there's definitely going to be some sort of offer and it, I do feel like it's going to be from the other person but it could mean that you're, assert, you're the one that's asserting this energy too okay so let's get you a couple more cards I want to see who this person is I'm going to pull a couple more astrology cards as well I think you're one of the first groups here today that's had the most love in their reading. So it could be somebody from quite far away that you connect to. It could be somebody literally you knew from childhood just randomly messaging you. It could be the most random encounter, but this is a sign that you are manifesting what it is that you've been uh, waiting for. And we have ancestors as well. So releasing a lot of old energy that no longer serves you. And this is then creating a brand new cycle for you to really attract things that are really on your wavelength and no more kind of struggling and no more ego 
energy. We have the rainbow here, so look out for rainbows and stars, I feel. Possibly moons as well. I feel you guys are going to the beach this week. Okay, so we have Libra, we have Waxing Gibbous. We have, these are all crazy. Okay, we have Scorpio popping out here, so it could be a Scorpio too. Oh, we have Capricorn as well. Okay, underneath we have the lunar eclipse. So you guys are really shifting your emotions drastically. Okay, that is beautiful. So <clears throat> the waxing gibbous here is represented as refine and hone, observe and align your hopes with the universe, build momentum. Yeah, and that is the chariot. That is that chariot energy coming in. Things are starting to build momentum and the Libra energy is very much to do with balance. And in the workplace as well, you could be having a Libra Capricorn connection as well. Um, I'm gonna pull you a, a love card for you guys to see if there's anything that you need to know about your love life right now. So you are definitely honing in this energy. Things are starting to really manifest for you guys. Okay, so we have retreat, which says it's time to discuss, oh, disconnect from the world. So you guys might need to just turn off your phone this week. Uh, or for a day this week and just really connect to yourself. Um, we also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I love that. So that's really, really beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we have to recapture romance, allow your inner, inner youthful spirit to, fu to of fun to shine. So I feel like there's two different messages here. Uh, one of you guys could be that you need to take a break from the world and just re-disconnect and not think about love. Those of you, it could be having a little chat with your partner. And for others of you, it could be really connecting to your inner child and really letting this person come in because you might have quite bad, uh, quite intense insecurities around love and connecting to people. And you may feel too vulnerable to kind of really get into that energy. So I feel like the playfulness is showing me that the more you allow it to come in, the better you'll, you'll feel. And you want to be able to accept this emotion. And I feel like this connection here, wow. That is actually so similar. Can you see how these two are really similar? I love that. That's so cute. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you would like to have a look at my crystal store, I would absolutely so much appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it so much. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.